Welcome to another trip down Normandy Road where we catch you up with everything going on with Swansea City. Two matches gone. We're going to focus on those two that happened, and it was the extremes in results with the Derby against Cardiff and then the midweek match against Derby County. So there was a Derby, and then there was Derby County. We'll get into those two matches. We'll also get you ready for the weekend. Take a peek at the juice boxes in the standings and let you know what else is going on around the championship. So let's go backward before we go forward. Take you back to the weekend and the Derby in Cardiff involving Swans and the uh, Bluebirds. So let's take a peek at the highlights once again, courtesy, as always, from YouTube and our friends at Swans TV. Beautifully played by Swansea. GS keeping it in and now releasing Bidwell on the left-hand side and he hits it first time deep. Great cross. Roberts puts it back into the box. Yes, and it's, there. yes it's in! Jamalo forces it home. Six minutes gone and Steve Cooper's man in front. What a cross for Jake Bidwell. Most difficult cross you'll ever imagine there. And he, but he's made the best of it. He's, it's a bit too high, but it was, watch this, brilliant. Kept it in perfectly. Hooked the ball in very much on sight, no doubt there. And Connor Roberts coming in on the far side. He heads again, it Connor. down. I'll play Connor. Get in there. Grimes gets oh, it back. Now then he's got up. space. Can he hit it? He can hit it. Yeah! Oh, he's hit the post. What a shot. Oh, that's a nice turn by Fulton. Goes to the byline, pulls it back. Oh, it bounces round and it's cleared away. And Smith oh, picks it up. Foul. And that's a free kick. And surely another card. Six studs in the shin. Well, it's one yellow. We've had one already, haven't we? It's a red. It's a red, yeah. No surprise Reckless. that there was a red card in the game. And it's gone to Cardiff City. Go. Are you? If he's going to do anything, he'd have to do it on his own. And Oh, that's oh, lovely eight. by Lowe. Go on. Skips past one challenge, continues to go, Jamal Lowe. Jamal Lowe! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Well played, Jamal Lowe. What a goal. Oh, he did it all. He's getting more confident each game. What a pass by Andrew. Well, he did the driving, and then Lowe, look at that, picks it up just 10 yards right. inside the Cardiff half of the field. Norton. Skips over, skips over, oh. and then just stabs it outside of the foot into the net. Superb finish. Outside your right foot. So a 2-0 win, clean sheet, coming into the match as a plus-223 underdog going to Cardiff, who is a plus-144 favorite in the composite, courtesy of our friends at Odds Portal. Swansea gets the Duke. Here's Steve Cooper after the match. Well, Steve... Congratulations. Swansea have just won the Derby in Cardiff for the first time in 10 years. Oh, is that right? 10 years? Yeah, well, um, any Derby wins, obviously, a good one, but to um, to do it in the way that we did it, you know, it makes it even uh, even nicer. I thought we were, we were more than good for it from start to finish. Um, we did it our way, you know, with the ball, trying to play through lines, trying to create... Proper chances, not hopeful ones, and um, and that's what we did in the end. So, yeah, no, really pleasing day. One for the supporters, and, um, and um, yeah, I hope you have a good day. And with festive fixtures, that means one thing. It's a quick turnaround. And so on the 16th, midweek, it was the match against Derby County. And we talk about the extremes in the introduction. you got extremes here for the team that's second from the bottom. Derby County gets the result. Here's your highlights once again, Swans TV and YouTube. Goes and it's helped on, and there's an early opportunity and a goal, and Swansea behind inside four minutes. And it's disappointing, poor defending. You know, I was just saying that, you know, you, you get a sense from teams what they're going to be about, and, you know, it's a free kick inside the, you know, just inside the, their own half, and, you know, they sent the boy, uh, the, the big players up looking for a goal, and, you now teams have, it's an old style free kick. You play, sort of play one, one side and isolate someone and look for the knockback. Distance and it's against the gloves and against the post and Swansea get a let off. Yeah, they, they just need to keep it at one at the minute, Swansea. I'd be amazed if the man who doesn't make a couple of changes at half time. Oh, free chance for Waghorn and it's 2-0. In fact, it's not Waghorn. Kamil Josquiak is the player. 
that scores. Now then, that is a problem, Chris. Yeah, you just just sensed it every time they sort of moved the ball with any sort of uh, one say pace, but sort of forward, and at, at least you know it causes Swansea problems. You can see it's just you know Matty Grimes sort of follows the runner one way, and okay, he goes the other. You know, and okay, he's slow get back in there. Understandably, Steve Cooper did not want to talk about it after the match and posting it to any kind of uh, team media. So losing as a plus 144 favorite on the road at Darby County. Darby County a plus 216. So Darby County gets the win, and it is 2-0, and that gets them closer to being out of the relegation zone. So let's take a peek at the matches this weekend. And once again, it is on Saturday where pretty much everyone outside of the Preston North End in Bristol City it is going to be played on Saturday afternoon and Saturday morning. Swansea and Barnsley is uh, the way it looks at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning East Coast time. Swansea a plus 110, Barnsley is a plus 276. Now let's get you through all the odds once again for the rest of the matches in the championship. Friday night football, Preston City and North End. Preston North End a plus 120, Bristol City a plus 240, your draws a plus 235. Norwich, a favorite at home, big favorite at home, as the early game on Saturday morning against Cardiff. Cardiff, a plus 267. Norwich, right at even money at a plus 102. Birmingham and Middlesbrough. Birmingham is a uh, big underdog. Middlesbrough is a plus 135. Birmingham, a plus 233. Your drop, plus 212. Brentford, a minus 139 hosting Reading, who's a a plus four and a quarter going in on that one. Your draw is a plus 266. Huddersfield, a big underdog at home. At the John Smith going up against Watford, who's pretty much even money at a plus 102. Luton Town, they are a plus 334. As Bournemouth comes to town at a minus 122. Millwall, a favorite at home, plus 141 to Nottingham's plus 221. Your draw is slightly less than that at about 210 to 215. Rotherham and Derby County, pretty much even Stephen there at Rotherham. Rotherham, a plus 175. Your draw is a plus 235. Derby County, a plus 160. Sheffield Wednesday at the bottom of the table, plus 146. And Coventry City, plus 200. Your draw is a plus 220. Stoke and Blackburn, plus 171. And Blackburn, a plus 158. Your draw is a plus 245. Wickham is a plus 227. Hosting QPR. QPR is a plus 120 on the board. And your draw is a plus 2. 45. Let's take a peek at the standings going into this week, which will get you ready for Christmas weekend or Boxing Day. So Norwich at the top of the ladder, having won four on the spin through their first 19 matches, and they're at 40 points. They are three points ahead of Bournemouth, who has been undefeated in their last four. There's one draw in that mix. They're second at 37. Those would be the automatic promotion spots at the halfway point as we get close to the halfway point. The four teams that would be fighting for the third spot to get into the Premier League. Watford at 34 points. Swansea and Reading at 33. Swansea's a plus nine in goal difference to Reading's plus six. Brentford would be the sixth team in right now at 32 points, having three draws and a win in their last four. Brentford's at 32 points. Bunch of folks at 30, 7, 8, and 9. Middlesbrough, Stoke, and Bristol City. Goal difference separates those three teams plus 6, plus 4, and even. Cardiff is 10th at 29 points. Blackburn is 11th at 28, ahead of Barnsley on goal difference. Barnsley at a minus 1, Blackburn at a plus 11. Lutontown is 13th at 26 points. Huddersfield 14th at 25, Millwall 15th at 24. Preston North End 16th at 23 at 7, 2, and 10. 22 points each for Birmingham City and Coventry City. Birmingham a minus 3, Coventry a minus 7. QPR is 19th at 19 points. Rotherham, Nottingham, and Derby are all at 16 points, but Rotherham and Nottingham are outside of the relegation fight at the moment on goal difference. Rotherham a minus 9, Nottingham a minus 11. Derby is the first team in the relegation zone at a minus 12 at 3, 7, and 9, having gone unbeaten in their last five. Two wins, though, in that stretch. Wickham is 23rd with 11 points, having lost three in a row. Sheffield Wednesday has lost four in a row. Tony Pulis has now taken them to their worst start ever at the beginning of a season. Sheffield Wednesday at 3, 6, and 10, and 9 points. So once again, as always, thanks to our friends at Swans TV and at YouTube for giving you the highlights and also getting the chance to listen to Steve Cooper as we get ready for the match on the weekend. And thanks, as always, for hanging out and catching life on Normandy Road. We'll catch up with you next week and let you know what's happening in and around Boxing Day. Play it safe, everybody. Enjoy the games.